This car is what happens when you try to convince the world that hot rods aren't dangerous. It's a custom 1932 Ford Roadster, and when it was built in the 1940s, the term hot rodder was often used in bad context, with many car enthusiasts being vilified by the public and seen as a danger to society. At this time, World War II veteran Bob McGee, who built this iconic hot rod known as the McGee Roadster as his daily driver, wanted to do his part in changing public perception of car enthusiasts and their home-built creations. So McGee and over 300 other hot rodders took their cars to the National Safety Council in an effort to denounce unsafe drivers and better the public opinion of hot rodders, with his McGee Roadster being the poster car for the event and the Green Cross for Safety Pledge. This group effort to denounce unsafe driving helped bolster a positive public opinion of the hot rodding community, but the McGee Roadster wasn't finished with its moment in the spotlight. Over the following decades, the McGee Roadster would grace the cover of Hot Rod Magazine, star in TV shows like Happy Days and numerous movies about the hot rod scene, and even be commemorated with an official postal stamp by the United States Post Office for being one of the most iconic and recognizable hot rods of all time.